Hi, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to export uh, text wrap from InDesign using N5. So here I've got a very simple InDesign document with some filler content. And I've got an image here that is just uh, free floating, but it has a text wrap placed on it. So I will just show you what this looks like by default by going to File export HTML5 within 5 and move this up so you can see it. So I'm just exporting using web safe fallback fonts and click OK and it's all done so I'm going to open the browser Just going to scale this down so it fits. So you can see that the text is selectable, but the image is sitting on top of the text. And part of the reason here is a, could call it a limitation, could call it a feature of HTML. So the, the image object and the text are, are separate things. And so they overlap each other rather than having a text wrap. So let's go back to InDesign and I'll show you how to add a text wrap. So I'm, I've got with my image selected I'm gonna go up to file and say cut and then I'm gonna double click in the text to actually be editing the text so the cursor is placed right here and I'm gonna go up to edit and choose paste and off screen I'm going back to the selection tool so I can select the image so right now the image is in there uh, but the default is that it's pushing all the text down. So I'm actually going to uh, right click or control click on the Mac on this image and go to anchored object options. And in here I'm going to change the position to custom and then I'm going to make sure that the reference point is the top left corner of the anchored object so that it's now back basically where it was and I'm just gonna scoot it down a little so there's a little space with the text and I'm gonna choose file save and then I'm gonna render that again with in five so again same options here just gonna click OK it'll take a second to render and then I'm gonna open the browser and now you can see a working text wrap just like an InDesign. Thanks for watching.